Monica Langley, Tearing Down the Walls, How Sandy Wolf Fought His Way to the Top of the Financial World. And the hardcover. In Tearing Down the Walls, How Sandy Wolf Fought His Way to the Top of the Financial World, author Monica Langley charts the inspiring yet controversial journey of Sandy Wolf as he conquers Wall Street. From his humble beginnings as the son of Polish immigrants, struggling for acceptance in the exclusive world of finance, to his eventual achievement of becoming CEO of 2002, Wild's story is nothing short of a financial odyssey. This summary acquaints the reader with Wild's tactical business moves, his relentless drive for success, and the personal and professional challenges he faced along the way. Expect to be absorbed into the world of mergers, acquisitions, and powerful conglomerates as well amasses a billion-dollar empire and transforms the finance industry. The Rise and Fall of Sandy Weil Sandy Weil, the CEO of the world's largest financial empire, was honored as the 2002 CEO of the year. He had overcome his struggles as a son of Polish immigrant Jews in the 1950s to become a Wall Street giant. However, Jack Grubman's scandalous ties to WorldCom, and his testimony before a congressional committee, tainted Weil's triumph. Grubman's confession of Sandy's intervention in getting his children into a prestigious preschool suggested corruption on Wall Street. Sandy Weil, A Tale of Perseverance and Insecurity Sandy Wall grew up shy and insecure with a father who scolded him for not fighting bullies. However, he excelled in tennis and academics at Peekskill Military Academy and dreamed of joining his father's company. Despite his father's scandalous past and success in the garment trade, Sandy remained plagued by insecurities. He struggled to succeed as a metallurgical engineering major at Cornell, but his life changed when his matchmaking aunt introduced him to his future wife, Joan Mosher. Even though Joan's father disapproved of Sandy due to his family history and lack of good breeding, Joan stuck with him, and they got engaged. However, Sandy came up short on credits and couldn't graduate from college. Despite this setback, Joan stayed committed to him. Sandy Weil, From Messenger to Wall Street Mogul Sandy Weil started his career as a messenger in the financial industry for Bear Stearns in 1955. Through hard work and determination, he worked his way up the ranks, passed the brokerage exam, and earned his license. He eventually partnered with other like-minded individuals, borrowed money from his mother, and invested all but $100 of his and Jones' joint savings into a new brokerage venture. The partners bought a seat on the New York Stock Exchange and developed a specialty in small, over-the-counter, stocks. Sandy's research uncovered a great opportunity in the Bulova Corporation, maker of the first electronic watch, and he promoted the stock insistently in his research reports. Throughout his career, Sandy made history by being one of the first to hire a black man and to give a woman real responsibility. The firm's groundbreaking research revealed a stunning opportunity in the insurance industry, which they capitalized on, making Sandy Weil and his partners millionaires multiple times over on paper. They eventually took their new firm public in a deal that made each partner a millionaire again, but this time in cash. The Rise of Sandy Weil Sandy Weil, known for building the world's largest financial empire, established a pattern in his early years that shaped his whole career. After building his firm, Shearson Hamill into the fifth largest on Wall Street through acquisitions of often troubled firms, he sold it in 1981 to American Express for three times its book value. However, he clashed with the company's board and resigned, leading to a period of corporate exile. While then acquired commercial credit and began a period of merciless cost-cutting that turned the company around. He used it as a base to acquire financial services conglomerate Primerica and later bought the Travelers Insurance Company. While reacquired his old firm, Shearson, merged it with Smith Barney, and acquired Salomon Brothers and Citicorp putting him on top of the most powerful and sprawling conglomerate in the financial world. However, his financial apotheosis was costly in personal terms, as he could not escape the taint of the scandalous conduct of Salomon Brothers telecommunications analyst Jack Grubman. Sandy Weil's Business Approach Sandy Weil was a successful businessman who valued employee ownership, 
predictable earnings, and a strong brand. However, he had a fiery temper and prioritized his own luxurious lifestyle over cutting costs. He also faced controversy by promoting his less qualified daughter and being a proponent of nepotism, despite his own family struggles with drugs and scandal. Despite these issues, while remained an instinctive and ambitious leader, working to maintain his company's status as a leader in every business he entered. Sandy Wiles' story is a powerful testimony to his ambition and drive as he dominated Wall Street and became 2002's CEO of the year. Having overcome numerous challenges and confronted personal demons, Wall excelled in creating sophisticated strategies and tactical business maneuvers that redefined the financial world. Through numerous mergers, acquisitions, and management of a sprawling conglomerate, Wiles' tenacity and business acumen are evident, making, tearing down the walls and absorbing tale of one man's extraordinary ascent in the world of finance. As the reader reflects upon Wiles' journey, they are left with valuable insights into the workings of the financial industry, as well as the undeniable power of ambition 